Hi, my name is Drew, you're you, and we're both here wanting to either listen about pens or talk about pens. So one of us will do one, the other will do the other, and, you know, why don't I just, I'll do the talking. I'll talk about fountain pens, you can just, you can just chill. All right, so we've got some new stuff this week. I want to talk to you about these Estabrook pen cases that we got in. I am actually pretty excited about these. It's not every day you get a pen case that actually kind of feels and looks different than every other pen case out there. So I've got here their 20 pen case. They've also got a 40 and a single pen case, but this is the midsize one. So for $79.95, you get the 20. If you wanted to get the 40 case, that one's up at $99.95 and a single is $17.95, all three sizes come in a tan, which is what we have here, a blue and an army green, a navy blue and an army green. And there's a lot going on here that might meet the eye. So first off, it's canvas. That is not something we currently have. We've got leather, we've got fabric. Uh, well, I mean, this is fabric technically, but canvas is different. Canvas is new. It's going to weather really nicely. If I took my fingernails right now and just drug them across this, it's going to create three long scratches. Not going to do this because this is going to be sold. So uh, it will be weathered by its, uh, you know, forever home. But you will see them every now and then, you know, you'll get them and they'll be some signs of wear because that's just kind of how they're going to be. But that means they're going to be personalized to you. Right here on the back, you're going to see that there is a zipper pouch, which again, unique to this particular case. Um, the single pen case obviously is not going to have this, but the 40 will. And I find this pretty cool. I think that you could easily fit a sort of small notebook in here. What I always like to have in my pen case is a piece of paper that lets me know what all of my pens in the case are inked up with. You might be asking yourself, is this completely vegan or vegetarian? You know, not vegetarian, uh, vegan. <laughs> You're not going to eat it. Um, no, it's not. We do have a leather spine here. And then uh, before we open it up, there is an additional pocket right here in the front. So lots of storage options before we even get into the storage area, right? So blue suede here in the interior. Uh, these are interesting because the colors of the interior are also different than the exterior. So you get a little bit of flash in there as well. There's another kind of the same strip of leather here in the center that you'll find on the spine is there. There's a patch with the Esterbrook Vintage logo there. And then you've got a flap to protect pen side A from pen side B. So that's nice. And then you've got two pieces of elastic for each of your 20 pens that you would have in this particular size case. You've got a larger one up top and a smaller one down at the bottom. I would put the larger one up top for your caps and stuff like that, but you can do whatever you want. So that is it. You've got very big beefy zippers with the Esterbrook script logo there. Um, I believe you have two. Yes, one smaller zipper here for the zipper pouch and then the large one for the main compartment. So these are a lot of fun. They are very, very sturdy. Like I just wanna, you ever get something in your hands you just kinda wanna like just, you know, I don't know, just, yeah, there you go. You just feel confident and that, 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 that slap of satisfaction. Like, yeah, you know, like hitting the top of the car, like, ah, this baby, you know, this is just, it gives you that, yeah, <laughs> I don't know why. Um, so anyway, <laughs> okay, those are cool. So again, those come in single 20s and 40s for 1795, 7995, and then the big boy, the 40 case at 9995. Speaking of Estabrook, there's a new pen available. It is an Esty, and it is pink, or in this case, technically, it is punch. So let's take a look at that. Lovely Estabrook packaging, as always. And then, voila, boop, we're punching it up with this pen right here. Let me get a closer look. All right, here is the punch. It is a lovely pink flecked resin with the filled Esterbrook logo there, a gold cap, a gold clip, sorry, on the cap. And then you're also gonna find matching gold hardware on the rest of the pen. So pink and gold, a fun combination, a Yovo steel nib that writes fantastically 
Well, as we know, Yovos tend to do. It includes a converter in there and you'll also get a cartridge as well. These pens are gonna be coming in kind of your standard nib sizes for 176. And then if you wanna go up to the 229 and 50 cents price point there, you can get special nibs. So we're talking the journaler nib, the techo nib, the scribe nib, and the needlepoint nib, all from four of the finest nib technicians in the world, I would say, and all fantastic people as well, and humans that I enjoy speaking with when the opportunity presents itself. So there you go, the Punch LE. This is a limited edition pen, so if you want it, get it while you can. Finally, we're going to move on to a different sort of segment, all right? I'm calling this segment, Let's Learn Why Sailor Does Things. So um, first off, we're going to talk about some new inks and I'm gonna be needing some pictures here. So um, they have a new Shikiori ink line and I have a piece of paper here that's gonna help me with this. Shikiori inks, right? They've done Shikiori before. This time they're doing Shikiori Japanese fairy tale inks. Japanese fairy tale is a pen collection Shikiori is more or less an ink collection. This is confusing. I might be saying the wrong thing. I hope I'm not. From what I understand, these Shikiori inks are meant to pair with a Japanese fairy tale pen, a Pro Gear Slim model, technically. Uh, so we've got a new ink. This first one I want to talk about is uh, Subarakashi, that is known as Princess's Headdress. We will have both listings on our site, like one product with two names. It's going to say Subarakashi, but in parentheses it will say Princess's Headdress. You might see one or the other across the internet at other stores. It's the same ink. On the bottle itself, it's not going to say Princess's Headdress. So Subarakashi, Princess's Headdress. Princess's Headdress here is supposed to match up with the pen Princess Cayuga, and that is a Pro Gear Slim model. So Princess's Headdress, Princess Cayuga. It's her headdress. So there you go. These match. So if you have Princess Cayuga, here's the ink to go with it. Likewise, um, Kaza Kiribane is here. That translate to crane, tr translates to crane quill. Boom. Crane quill matches up to the graceful crane Pro Gear Slim. Japanese fairy tale Pro Gear Slim. Crane quill, graceful crane. We're getting there, and that is Kaza Kiribane. And Kasasagi is translated to magpies. Magpies goes with Vega, the Vega, Shiki, so sorry, the Vega Japanese fairy tale Pro Gear Slim. Vega magpies. Boom. They don't match perfectly, but I'm led to believe that they complement each other. So there you have it. So that's what Sailor intended. Finally, Tama Tibako here translates to Forbidden Treasure Chest. The Forbidden Treasure Chest lies within Dragon Palace. Dragon Palace being the Japanese fairy tale Pro Gear Slim, right here. Japanese Palace, sorry, Dragon Palace, Forbidden Treasure Chest. The chest is in the palace. So hopefully that helps. If I'm correct, that should help confuse me for a bit because we've got two different collections here happening kind of in tandem but one came out previously but anyway these four inks that I mentioned are new they are $18 a piece and they are meant to be companion inks to the pens that I mentioned here either you're welcome or I'm sorry uh, finally I do want to talk about a sailor pen this is a very interesting pen they're calling this one the silent C-Y-L-I-N-T, silent, because it's stealthy. It's a stealthy pen, and it is neither. Here's the kicker, folks. It is neither a Pro Gear Slim, nor a 1911, nor a full-size Pro Gear, nor a any, anything else. It's just the silent. It is a stainless steel pen, and that is new. It is inspired by Sailor's 110th anniversary pen, which shared the same basic profile. So you've got a ultra thin layer of black oxide um, here on the surface. So you get a really, really 
deep, deep black, as you can see. So you've got a little anchor there up at the top, which is quite sharp, classic sailor clip, and then um, it does have some weight to it, which is, which is nice. Uh, the nib is something that uh, I want to talk about because look at that. It's a 21 karat nib, which usually you only see on the larger pens. Um, this is not a larger nib though. This is a smaller nib and I'm going to compare it to my Pro Gear Slim here and you'll see that it's the same size. So you've got a Pro Gear Slim size nib, but in the 21 karat gold, which is uncommon. But there you have it. So helps justify the price a bit. It's a really, really nice looking black nib. But the pen itself, definitely larger than the Pro Gear Slim for sure. And then uh, especially capped, you'll see an even greater difference. So quite a different size. So both in length and width, it is just a bigger pen. It's a bigger pen, it's a heavier pen, but a, a same size nib. Okay, $552 is what you will need if you would like to acquire a Sailor Silent. It's a really unique pen. I love the fact that they're doing something different. I love the Sailor Pro Gear, I love the 1911, but I do love newness as well, and the Silent at least delivers that. So it's a sharp looking pen, has a really great weight to it. If you were, uh, if you are a fan of heavier pens, I know that with the metal grip section here, which this also has, uh, we've seen success in the Sailor pens that have added that on there. So if you're a fan of that, you're probably a fan of this. Or if you're a fan of the look of the you know anniversary pen, but didn't want to write with a telephone pole, this one might fit the bill because that pen was enormous. This one realistically proportioned in my opinion. So it's a pretty short one this week. Thank you so much for choosing to spend a little bit of time with me. I hope you have a great day, whatever comes your way. Have fun, write on.